it's kind of frustrating when, you know, I guess it's obvious to people that are inside the sport that understand that these regional shows are there for a reason. For the on, on the athlete side, the reason is to build up their records so that they can have a shot at getting to a bigger show. Um, you know, and if if you don't want to be considered as a regional show, then you should be paying the athletes like you know, like like One FC or or you know Bellator or UFC to, to to be considered something otherwise or PFL. You know, King of the Cage has been around for a long time. Uh, Terry's been around for a long time, and Draco Rodriguez is my client, and it's not like he's uh, paying him enough money to make a living. He's not even fighting him enough to make anything. I mean, it'll be nine months between fights, so. A lot of people are commenting and saying things like, oh, bad management. Why did you let him sign the contract? Well, Draco was already under this contract when I started managing him. So this contract was already signed. So there's not much I can do to uh, do to it other than to try to, you know, appeal to Terry and say, hey, man, you know, the kid fought with you his entire amateur career. I don't know how many fights it was, almost 20 fights or something like that. He's made King of the Cage money already. Uh, and now he's made him. He's fought his way up to being a pro in your show to the point where the UFC is interested in him. So we got the call up the first time on a short notice fight, and he turned it down, which blew my mind that he did that. Uh, and then um, you know, nut swingers came on and were like, "Oh, you have a contract with him. You know, you should honor. You know, contract is a contract, and this and this." But yeah, I get that. Um, but uh, and 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 we are, you know. But don't count on Draco selling a single damn ticket for your ass if you're holding on to him for a $750 contract. And I offered him $6,000 to buy out of the contract, and he told me it was. He asked me for 50. Like the the guy is the guy is a dinosaur, and he's an absolute scumbag. The second time came around, I got the call to put Draco in Contender Series uh, on on August 20th, and. Uh, uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to see if he will change his uh, tone and, and give him another chance, you know, because he, he did feel the backlash from the media because he called up uh, my friend Monty Cox. And, uh, you know, he's like, who is this guy, Brian Butler? He's, Why is he making all this trouble or making all this noise and this and this? And mine's like, oh, he's, he's a pretty established manager, you know, you might want to, you, know, you should have maybe listened to, hear, heard him out or something, you know, but I guess he didn't, whatever. Like I said, that's why he's a dinosaur in his own bubble. Um, and, uh, second time came around and I, I figured him and Monty go way back. And, uh, I actually called Monty to have, and talk with him and see if he would appeal to him to let, uh, Draco fight in the contender series. And, uh, he stood his ground again and said, nope, he was going to wait to fight Draco in September. And, and that was it with every promoter that I deal with, you know, Titan FC, Lex McMahon, Jeff Aronson, they're all about graduating fighters you know, up to the UFC, they, they know they're not competing with the UFC, you know, they're, they're working hand in hand with the UFC to develop the next star. So they're excited for it. LFA. You see them posting all the time, you know, alumni, uh, LFA alums fighting in the UFC this weekend and this and that they're proud of it. And they should be, you know, they've helped advance careers of, uh, of a lot, a lot of young kids that are trying to make it up in this sport and they should, um, you know, th those are the promotions that, 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 that we need. And, you know, any anybody out there, I would just any young prospect out there, I would strongly advise you do not sign with King of the Cage. They will lock you up and do this to you if if, if he gets a hair up his ass. He's heartbroken. He's heartbroken. You know, uh, he just can't believe it. To be honest with you, the kid has fought almost like 20, 20 something times for for King of the Cage if you include his amateur amateur career, and uh, he's been, literally bled for them and uh, for them to do this to him now. It's you know, it's ridiculous. He's got, uh, I think, three more fights on his contract. And, and Terry's already threatened me with mismatching him and giving him the worst matchups that he can to, you know, he's not going to do him any favors and this and that. So he's, he's gunning for him.